Uh, the program, as you may know, uh, is run in conjunction with the Max Planck Institute for International and Comparative Criminal Law. So it's truly to provide advanced level criminal law and procedural courses in a comparative framework. The Max Planck Society has an incredible reputation in Germany and all over the world. And I've done research in criminal law and especially in sentencing for many years. And ultimately there was a summer where I wanted to do a comparative project. And this was the ideal place to do it. And I would love to see one of the students from the summer program think about doing a PhD at the institute or you know, doing a research assistant position here for a year or two. Within Europe, it is an unbelievable credential. Um, disenfranchisement um, is a big issue in the US now because of the racial implications. I came here probably about um, 10 years ago, and I talked to the people at the Institute about disenfranchisement, and they were all looking at me as if I were crazy because there are nine cases in Germany a year where the court imposes it. We had talked about doing shorter um, programs in the summer with the idea that I wanted the students to have the opportunity um, to work at home either for pay or an internship and still have a foreign experience. The advantage I think of that is that students take it more as a um, academic enterprise, which it should be rather than just a long vacation. On the other hand, there is enough time um, to do uh, to experience the surrounding areas. And the great thing about Freiburg is um, there is a fabulous city in France an hour and a half away, Strasbourg. Um, Basel in Switzerland is an hour away. Zurich is two hours away. And the Black Forest is 20 minutes away. It would be a very good time to restrict the powers of the police <laughs> Right? If you were in a majority that was going to instantly lose power, this would be a time when you might consider carefully the power of the police visa. You're getting a different perspective on our own system. You actually begin to ask different questions about the things you don't know and you want to know about your own system when you start looking at another um, system. In fact, Professor Sieber, in the first class, he said whenever he, somebody comes to him and says, I want to do a comparative study, and he always asks them to do a country report on their own country. And I said to the students, why do you do this? Well, you do it because you suddenly see where the gaps are in your own understanding. But the other thing is, you may actually pick up good ideas um, for legal changes, for how you can implement certain types um, of policies. And finally, and I wouldn't necessarily underestimate this, some of the, many of the PhD students here are not planning on becoming academics, which I think would be the assumption in the US. They will become prosecutors, they will have um, connections to police, and much crime these days is transnational. You never know when you should be, when you have to pick up the phone to get some information from the German equivalent of the FBI or the help of a German prosecutor. I love to see people not just learn about how the Germans do sentencing and how they regulate discretion, but also how life is different and how law, how all of law really fits together. And I think that's really important because I don't want anybody to get the impression that we can take part of criminal law and just use it exactly the same way in the U.S. We can learn, we can adjust our own thinking, we can adjust our institutions, but there is so much to our life that's different that you can't just take one thing and transplant it.